Might have to turn up the old whips. Testing, testing. Wait, I think that's testicles. Me. Yeah, that's testicles. Me. Testicles. <laughs> Say it again. Testicles. <laughs> Testicles. Testies. The old webbles. The old webbles. <laughs> the old dinosaur eggs. <laughs> the old <laughs> cantaloupes <laughs> in the pouch. <laughs> Oh, why don't we get this shit cracking, dog? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Mine did not make any noise. Welcome back to Window to the Soul, where we uh, walk in other people's shoes for about an hour or so. You know, whatever we decide. It's already been decided, though, that uh, today's guest and I will be having a couple brewskis. So hang in there. It's going to be a wild ride all the way through. Maybe uh, a little bit more than a couple. <laughs> maybe more than a few maybe a little bit more than a wild ride but however my guest today <laughs> is uh the one the only the notorious fred whipple welcome to the show thanks man <laughs> now fred and i go way back uh not that far actually but we always told each other that uh no matter what happened we would have found each other regardless so I'd say that's probably sets us up for a pretty long friendship, you know? So it's like we still got the whole the whole thing ahead of us. So so tell us about yourself, Fred. And, you, and don't worry, you're just audio, so you can tell them anything you want. <laughs> Hi, my name is Frederick Thomas Whipple. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's you see, it's funny you say that because that's <laughs> actually why I've had Claudia bring you here. Uh, and that's because we need to talk about something, and if this is a this is going to be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, what's the what's the word called? Um, what, an AA meeting? No. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I know what you're talking about. It's a. Uh, it's like. What is it? I'm look. Not, I'm thinking of it's it. It's not revival. You it's bring a, you you. No. 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 It's you like bring you bring everyone together for one person because they're doing something fucked up. It's. What is it? What is it? <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't. No? Wait, what? Yeah, 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 it is. What is it? Yeah, yeah. Intermission? Is it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's like halftime, isn't it? Like that, isn't the intermission's like a break. <laughs> no, it's close to that, though. Um, it's Intervention. Not... Intervention, yes. That's what it is. You were close. There you go. You got we'll it. Gi- we'll give it to Claudia for that. <laughs> intermission. <laughs> Anyway, this is a, this is an intermission. Intervention. <laughs> intervention. Oh my god! I fucked it up again. This hey, I haven't even drank one. You'll definitely have that on those big jobs. You'll have it on those big jobs for sure, bud. So, actually, what I did seriously though bring you here for it was an intervention about your drinking. But I stopped dead. <laughs> that's what I'm talking. That's that's the point. Your numbers are way down. <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get them back up again. Yeah, you got dude. You used to drink like a horse. <laughs> we all did. Yeah. I, even I've cut back, and that's saying something for me. I mean, I don't know. It just you grow up. I actually speaking of that I got a story about. Oh that. yeah. So, oh good old. We love a good old drinking story on the pod. So to answer your original question, all serious since. We're definitely not having an intervention because or, I don't. I or, do definitely don't have a problem or an intermission. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we we've all got problems, but drinking yeah. is the least of them. No, I think drinking helps. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm an alcohol advocate. That's the real AA. <laughs> I mean, according to you know studies on the internet, I don't, I forget what studies. So don't. <laughs> I mean, don't quote me, but <laughs> Harvard, Harvard, right, right, Harvard, Harvard. you know, all this <laughs> Harvard, <laughs> Harvard and Yale. Yeah. Oh, yeehaw. <laughs> oh, yeehaw. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, they said if you have more than six beers a week, you're considered a, like a level two alcoholic. Six beers a week? A week. Oh my and God. I'm in trouble. if you have more than two beers a night, then you're like a like a level two alcoholic oh like, lord like it's i mean i don't always have two beers at night no nah, sometimes I, I have one <laughs> and then i fall asleep <laughs> i don't think i've ever drank just one beer really? i think i've like i don't think i've ever finished one beer if i don't drink holy like, shit i had a beer at dinner last night i did drink two last night you did and this is my second 
Oh my god, I'm an alcoholic. Well, this is my third. This is this is just, this is just a therapy session. This podcast. I mean, now. <laughs> all right. Back to my story. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or right, back to answer your question, actually. Yeah. So, Fred Whipple. Fred Whipple. Go by Whips. Whips. Wh- Whipple my nipple. Whipple my. N- <laughs> <laughs> I've never called you that, but I'm going to start doing it now. A.K.A. Fred. Yeah. <laughs> Fred. I mean, whatever. But Only his real friends call him Fred. Right. Well, and sometimes no. Freddy. Only the <laughs> girls call me Freddy. <laughs> oh, really? My hair's long enough. <laughs> we don't have to go there today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll save it when you get back. Right. Well, <laughs> all right, so... I'm an ex-welder. Ex-welder. That's going to welding school. <laughs> You're also an ex-wife. And I got a wife on the way. <laughs> you got a wife on the way. Oh, I'm sorry. I got that backwards. I mixed... I'm, I'm sorry. I mixed the two <laughs> subjects up. I have it written down here. I don't know why I mixed it up. <laughs> sorry. Weed's my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> he is an ex-wife. <laughs> You're just like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> 420 is my ex-wife, and she hits hard every time she comes back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she does. Oh, yeah. She's got me going on nature walks and shit, dog. <laughs> we can also say that for another time. <laughs> Dude, we got to we gotta talk about camping, though, because... Yeah. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's, camping. That's really where we bonded, I feel like. Dude, that, camping is where, like, we formed this like alliance we all separated had. the boys from the men right it's it's where like we let the old like last winter's drunken party phase die oh, you know we just took it out there into the woods and just hey you stay here <laughs> you just stay in this fucking tree took it to the mountain cliff and just kicked, kicked it. it right off the edge <laughs> sparta <laughs> <laughs> fucking punt that shit yeah. <laughs> But you just got a little uh, camping rig, didn't you, bud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Oh. <laughs> I know you want to talk about it. I know you know about it. <laughs> it's a Chevy K10. <laughs> a Chevy K10, son. Yeah. It's a 90, no, 87. 87. 87, four Who's speed. That? Ronald Reagan? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Is it? He went into 88, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. That's that Ronald Reagan truck right, right. there. Old back... Was he was. Oh, he no. was. Yeah. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. yeah he <laughs> <laughs> if he wasn't you Republican, I would have. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you learned it here today. <laughs> <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> about to drink my spitter. <laughs> Ooh, just remember, I always grab the koozie. Here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what saved me. I was like, oh, that's right. So one of my favorite times of us camping was when... <laughs> It was when, <laughs> when we went, and uh, Tyler and Tara had come, and they'd come, they came later that night with David. <laughs> and they, Wait, David and Peyton, or just David? David and Peyton, yeah. That was that one time we were with all the, there with together. With their rig. Yeah. Like when David brought his dad's uh-huh. rig out there. Okay. And so when we were all down there, and then uh, we woke up in the morning, and for some reason we were down by Tara's truck, and we realized her tire was flat. <laughs> and so and so we were sitting there <laughs> we were sitting there trying to figure out how to get this tire off because we didn't have like the we didn't have all the pieces to like, like get lower the spare tire down right. right and everyone was standing there saying we need a we need a vice like we need a vice grip we could do it with a vice grip and like 5 minutes go by <laughs> and david goes oh I have a vice grip on the sun visor of my dad's truck. <laughs> and you just stand up and look at him and go, go get it. <laughs> like, we've been sitting here you talking about it. Go fucking get it, dude. You don't have to ask permission. We need it. <laughs> and, then, yeah, and, then, yeah. and then as soon as, soon as he walked within you know earshot of us, we had figured out that we would found the rest of the pieces and we'd already gotten the tire down before we got back. And he was like, what the fuck? That made it, that made it worth it. it was like, Dude, it, made, it, was, it was just, it was just worth it to, to see you go, go get it. What the fuck? Like, what are you doing? Oh, it was great. That was, that was, that was a good time. 
I, I yeah no he was he was he was dude he was the ballad of Buster Struggs that weekend <laughs> dude. Yeah. I miss old Dave. I do too. <laughs> I hope he comes camping with us this uh, this summer. Cause yeah, especially it, with that rig. <laughs> with the yeah hell yeah, that thing's sick, dude. But when he was co- what was he cooking biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> was he cooking biscuits? Oh, uh, he brought like crescent rolls and some like. What I Canadian just, bacon or I something? I remember sitting there thinking, "Damn, that looks really fucking good." Like, I bet that's gonna be so good. And he goes to pick up the, <laughs> he goes to pick up the grate, and it just, like, it's like it's on ice, <laughs> just slides straight off into the fire. And I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna ask him if I could steal one. <laughs> now they're all burned. <laughs> I love camping though. Yeah, I fucking love it. Even the worst camping trips are still good. You yeah, know? dude, hell yeah! Like I, I had to, I had a dentist. Oh no, I was getting, uh, I was going to the doctor for something. I was getting blood drawn, and I went camping the night before, and I was like really dreading it because I was like nervous as shit. And then we went camping that night, and I just got tore up. And I woke up the next morning, and that's the day I passed out in the uh, doctor's <laughs> office. I hit my <laughs> fuck out of the back of my head, and then I was just like, yeah, I'm going to, huh? <laughs> well, Does I also didn't know beer? I was getting blood drawn at the time, but whoever gets your we're blood, all good. Whoever gets your blood is gonna be high. Oh no, I was high like, octane. I was you know, checked. Oh, you <laughs> like, were. Yeah, I was making oh. sure I was good. Yeah, monitor spike in cool. alcohol in the blood. <laughs> Actually, no. To be honest, uh, it wasn't. It was. Well, it should have been. I don't think they were looking for that though. <laughs> they, it uh, actually said I had high glucose, which is like. I'm not surprised because, like, everything I eat or drink has sugar in it, you know, besides water. What is what is that? Glucose is, For like, all sugar. the listeners that don't know. Yeah, 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 there you go. You can hang of it. Uh, it's, like, sugar. Like, anything that's got, like, high sugar in it. Like, I drink fucking Red Bulls all the time, or I used to. I'm getting off the Red Bull. I'm doing good. Getting on the beer. Uh, I'm getting off the Red Bull and getting on the, like whatever cool shit looks like it would hydrate me throughout the day shit, you know? Cause I'm like, I'm, I'm tossing between drinking and, and just surviving. And now I've got to, I've got, I'm figuring it out and I've got to drink and hydrate through the day. You know, I know I'm 22 and I'm just figuring this out, but I swear to God, just give me enough time and I'll figure anything out. That also brings up, I saw a story of yours on Snapchat. Oh Yeah. Which you one? with your work equipment out with a brewski right in your hand. And I was like, that's my boy. <laughs> right? Dude, it was on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I, I had a beer before noon while working. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. My coworker was like, hey, I, I, I'm, if you're interested, I need to do some like weekend survey. And like, I want to just like take the equipment out and like survey my property. Like, obviously not like legally, but just to like know and see what's what and where's you know he wants to see like where because he lives on where's a farm. the highest point or where, something where he's he lives on a farm he wants to like see where all his fences are at and shit and nobody listening gives a fuck about this but so i went out there for like four hours and just helped him survey and then like halfway through the day like at like 12 o'clock he just comes out and just like hands me a beer and i was like fuck yeah <laughs> like my man my my man <laughs> i was like he could tell i was hung over because that was sunday after that party we had right like that was a fucking rager of a party yeah i showed up fucked up yeah 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 carter's awake before noon what the fuck i woke up to claudia saying is carter at work and i was like i don't know <laughs> yeah uh, my head is spinning still <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well it, yeah it was it was fun because it wasn't actually like work but it was like, I don't know. I got paid well, so it was worth it. That is definitely paid worth for, it. Paid, paid well. Paid for uh, half of me and my girlfriend's anniversary dinner. So, Hey, congrats. Take it. Take it yeah, where I can. That's absolutely and, right. I, well, I guess 20 of it went to this beer. But <laughs> Oopsies. You'll definitely have that on those big jobs. You will have that on those uh, medium to large sized acreage jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you know? My my job gets harder and easier by acreage. <laughs> They're like, here here's a hundred acre boundary, and you're like, what? <laughs> At least you know no one else is around. That is true. 
what happens in the woods stays in the woods. Hey man, when you're surveying, <laughs> when you're surveying, you're just in the woods. I mean, when you got your telescope out, I'm talking like. I mean, you, you it find, is what you, it is. You take your time to find the nice pristine log that's laying horizontal to take a dump off of. You know, I've done that so many times with or without the wipe. Well, you gotta get some leaves. Oh, okay. But you got to use leaves if you don't got nothing. You can't just not wipe. You can't risk it. That's just the recipe for a bad day, you know? Yeah. 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 If you. Skid mark notice. Oh, no. Yeah. You can't have that. <laughs> you get a fucking rash and you start rubbing and shit. Yeah. Literally. And yeah, you don't want that. It's a rough time. Yeah. But there was this one time I was. We had just worked our way all the way up this mountain. And I was like an hour from the truck. <laughs> and I was like, I don't have any toilet paper, but like. I'm about to shit, so, like, here goes nothing. I'm going to figure something out. And I found these nice soft leaves on the way down, and I was literally running down the mountain, just snatching leaves <laughs> off this tree, <laughs> trying to get down and so I could take a shit off of this fucking log. And I just, it was nice after that, but. Felt a lot more comfortable. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, there's times during, like, the morning and the day where my gut's just like, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe right after a night of, you know, hydrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, a night of drinking uh, turning into having to shit. Well, I think it's time for you to tell my favorite story ever. You're not talking about oh, Okrechoki. <laughs> oh, Okrechoki, bud. Well, the good old Banks of Outer Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okrechoki, home of the Outer Banks of Banks and Skanks. I don't know. <laughs> Outer I'm Banks free, and I'm Skanks. I'm freestyling now. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're down here at uh, the Outer Banks. <laughs> I mean, we Shout walked maybe two blocks. I mean, yeah. Two blocks, yeah. I don't yeah. know. It was, it was probably about a quarter mile or so. Was it? I don't probably, know. We were pretty. We were we, pretty we hydrated. Were, <laughs> we, were, we were very hydrated, but at the same time, it also felt like we were walking for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Was that before or after we were laying in the middle of the road? Oof. I think. That was like a day or two after. Oh, okay. I got my days mixed up. Because I think what happened is we went for a walk with other people, and then later in the week, no one else wanted to go for a walk. And that's how so we that's ended how up we on ended the pier. Up on the what was that sandy oh. fucking closed down road? Right. That we just like with a haunted house. Yeah, literally a closed up beach house, dude. Our like, fucking asses saw a fucking dirt post road. Hurricane. Two fucking no trespassing signs, like a boarded up beach house that was like relatively new, like horror, horror movie type shit. And we just, our drunk asses went, I'm sorry, our hydrated asses went, let's go down here. Let's see what's down this way. I had a, a caramel colored water bottle in the back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, great. A roadie for the trip. <laughs> let's go on an adventure to the haunted house. Beach house. I don't. And I still don't know why we were there. It was beautiful though. Was beautiful Megan? Summer. Megan was with us. Uh-uh. She, she wasn't? wasn't. Not that time, because that's. I remember that. Oh yeah, we were that's alone. right. She was with us the first time. Right. Um. But no, she she wasn't. <laughs> we, were we were wandering drunks. We were too <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> hydrated little boys just wandering around this island, fucking at God knows what time. Eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. It was. It was. It was late. It was a full moon, too. Everything was lining up for a common... Yeah, like... I don't want to say horror movie, but, like, you know... Like a an occurrence. Right. Like, something, everything just felt... Something was going to happen. It felt Hollywood. Dude. If it would happen at any time, that night, it was going to happen. Yeah. You would have been doing what you did, and then I wouldn't have seen you again. Right. You know? So what did occur was <laughs> by the time we got to the spooky house, <laughs> yeah. Well, guess whose belly was rumbling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and nature was definitely calling that night. <laughs> oh, whipple the nipple. <laughs> and there's a storm wall, and I was like, "Well, that's a perfect spot to drop a deuce. <laughs> perfect spot for a perch, bud." <laughs> yeah. So I pulled down my shorts. <laughs> Business went to happen then. <laughs> oh yeah, and I found some uh, seaweed. That's what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> that all natural shit. Yeah, 
And I gotta say, it's probably the best shit I ever had yeah. to this day. Yeah, because like, it was a it was a shit of freedom. If you don't remember, you speedboats were flying by. Oh, my yeah. ass was facing them. Oh yeah, but lights was, out, shit, right. dude. You know, thunder and lightning. I, I mean, remember that specifically. I was so hydrated, I didn't even care. Right. My white ass was, was as your back was to all the haters, bright as the moon. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh man, but no. So what I was doing in that time was I was watching the lightning. <laughs> so there was like a bunch of heat lightning or something. It was look. It looked really cool in the clouds. So I was taking a video, and so everything <laughs> is dark except for just like you can see a little bit of the moon on the horizon, I think, and then you can see the lightning in the clouds. And I take this panning video, and you can kind of see a little bit of the house. But somewhere in the middle of that video, down at the bottom where it's completely black, is just Fred taking a shit off of the fucking like storm beach, wall. like storm wall. Like <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos because because you you could show that to anybody. You could post that on Instagram and and no one would know that somebody's just Little shitting Fred's down in the, here in the shitting. fucking middle of that video. <laughs> it's my favorite video of all time. That's not true, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's probably the favorite, most favorite one I've ever taken. Me and Khalifa definitely share some good <laughs> videos. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've you know, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> but off a cell phone, that's pretty good. For, yeah. As far as videos, yeah, yeah, I liked it. I I, I might post it <laughs> and just like turn the brightness all the way down. Right. Zoom in. <laughs> we want to see Fred's ass. <laughs> Hey. Show us his butt. <laughs> Let me see his butt. <laughs> Are you prepared to be famous, friend? For the whitest ass? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, oh, man. So you kind of came on the podcast as a little bit of a like an emergency guest. Yeah, it was kind of like a going away type deal. Tell, you want to tell us where you're going? Well, I mean, I'm going to welding school for four months, which Fuck yeah. is about... 1200 miles away shit from where we are yeah that's which, a long that's a long ass way boy yeah. how you feel about that <laughs> i mean i got a wife on the way wife on the way <laughs> no job congratulations by the way thanks bud <laughs> cheers yeah definitely cheers 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 baby oh by the way for all those listeners we definitely mentioned her name i mean the wife on the way we're we're planning on her name to be claudia <laughs> Oh shit, we spoiled it beforehand. Right. I'm sorry. If she's a girl, it's Claudia. If she's a guy, <laughs> <laughs> wife on the way. <laughs> it's Claire. It's Claire. <laughs> Clyde, I mean, I met Clyde. Clyde and Claudia. <laughs> what if it's twins? One Clyde, one Claudia. Well, Maybe. there you go. Or now Clay. You're, now you're polyamorous. Is that what they call it? Is that what they call it nowadays? Where you've got, where you've got more than one? I'm just a dumbass welder. Me too. <laughs> I just like girls. That's all I know. Speaking of that, is it appropriate to say my favorite Cheers? <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, no. Go ahead and say it. I'll I'll bleep I'll bleep the I'll bleep it out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Cut that. <laughs> Fred's getting loose. <laughs> All right. Back Fred, to Okerchoki. Fred's had a couple. Back to Okerchoki. Uh anyway, you were talking about welding school. Oh yeah. The I mean moving away and stuff. Yeah, I mean been working at this small time family company. Uh out on the road, which is entailed of, you know, leaving your home all week yeah. for the dollar. And yeah all your friends behind and then coming back on the weekends and trying to chant or smash everything into two days. Yeah. It's not a, not a very fun life to live. No. I mean, I enjoyed it, but at the same time it was road life can be fun. Road life can definitely, I know you be got fun. a taste of it. Oh yeah. I, I can perks. tell yeah. that you, yeah, they gave me that fucking company credit card and said, go get dinner. And I said, bet. Yeah. <laughs> Catch me getting a full rack of ribs and two <laughs> beers on that bitch. That's right. But yeah, the road life can be fun, but I also I get so fucking homesick. 
like I just miss home. So I'm yeah. like, I gotta come back. I could not do the shit that you do. Fucking leaving all week and then coming back on the weekends. Yeah, it sucked, but it, it paid all right. Yeah, like honestly, my goal is to go on the pipeline, which that means I'm gonna be away months at a time versus weeks at a time. Or five days That's at what a you're time. Going to welding school for? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, this is light work then. Right. <laughs> this is just the start. <laughs> right. And well, on my closing bummer. interview, shit. <laughs> yeah, on my closing interview, like the small time little company. But anyways, they were like, oh, you're going to, there's drugs out there. And I was like, what? drugs. Right. I was like, there's drugs everywhere though. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, you don't have to look that hard to find drugs nowadays. No. Especially what elderly people call drugs. I right. mean, don't. No cigarettes, bad for you. Yeah, them things addictive. to them drugs. Oh, marijuana. <laughs> oh, potheads. <laughs> you do that weed. Fucking <laughs> flower puffers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's how they tried and, to deter Yeah, you. they were just trying to, like... Yeah, they can't lose you. Yeah, bro. and I was just like, well, you're doing a bad job. All I wanted was more money. Yeah. I mean, if you would have just paid me what I, what I know I'm worth, right. then Tell I would stay. And that's what I told them. Tell them. But they decided to go another route, which was saying that I was going to turn into a road whore. And they said that shit. They were like, "There's fast women and or there's fast cash and loose women out there." And I was like, "They were they were going in, in like in, just like in the place you're going." No, the place that I was working at. Th- this was the exit interview. Like before, when you left, right? Like I, I said, here's my two weeks, and then at that very end, I went to HR, and you know, I was yeah. doing all my paperwork. You know, and they said it to you then. Yeah, that's when they went in on me. So what? Were, where were they talking about? Where you're going to welding school? They were the- like, well, no, because I told them my goal is to go on the pipeline. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, man. yeah, but a bunch of dicks. Well, a little bit. I mean, yeah. it was just more like how ignorant they are like yeah that's fucking there's rude man. i mean i was traveling to dc every like every week like every yeah. monday i'd wake up at four get my ass all into the work truck and drive up to dc i mean i literally got cussed out for not having my mask on yeah over my nose i had it on i just didn't have it over my nose yeah i got cussed at and threatened that i was gonna lose my job and all this other stuff by who just the like, general contractor of the oh, job really? site. Yeah. Holy fuck, man. I mean, shoot, you got bums coming to your window at 4 a.m. beating on your window saying, oh, give me money. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. I ain't giving you yeah. shit. <laughs> Why do I got to wear a mask? <laughs> right. Get this man a mask. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, catch his gingivitis. The man. worst thing I've, well, no, I've seen some terrible things, but one thing that's really stuck to me and it was like, you know, I never really re- realized how low people can get is mm-hmm. it was the middle of like February. It was like 20 degrees outside and it was like off and on rain and snow. It was like, it couldn't make up its mind. It was like a winter, winter mix. Yeah. And this bum was out there, short sleeve shirt, a uh, pair of like, he had one shoe on, one shoe off, high top socks. Yeah type deal his, his sock was like tucked into his, his pants man like, was just lost he like, was bad but the worst thing was he had a pepsi and he was he was sobbing i mean like worse than crying wow and he was pouring it onto his shoulder and i'm like <laughs> walking in the middle of traffic mind you people are honking their horns oh yelling at him he's just crying grown ass man like <laughs> i would say probably 30 couple Holy pouring shit. a uh, like a Pepsi, yeah, like like them. a two liter yeah. of Pepsi. No, like like just just, just little, a little bottle. Just a bottle. Yeah, <laughs> just dumping just it on dumping himself? on his shoulder and it's dripping off of him. And he's got one shoe on, one shoe off. Wow. Yeah, I mean it's freezing, dude. What does that guy see? I don't what, know. Where does he I, think he is? The rule is, if you're that messed up, you're supposed to share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're mad at the bum for not giving but, you any? Like. Come on, bro. Share. <laughs> it does. I don't feel like that's probably something you want. No, you no. I mean, be, I'm joking. I don't see I'm you totally joking. Through the middle and... of the road, dumping Pepsi on yourself. No, but that was pretty low. Fred's finally lost it. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, what about? Uh... <laughs> I mean, should should we talk about the time you got into a little road rage with maybe a guy in a Tesla? 
on the way home. Oh yeah. Oh, can, we, can, can we talk about that? Well, don't tell him who I'm not it is. trying to name any names, but uh, Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch McConnell. Hey, oh, oh, four eye McConnell. <laughs> So I was uh, driving home one Friday and uh, hammer down. No, it. actually, I wasn't even cruising that fast. Really? I was up in Manassas on my way west. And uh, anyways, I was cruising with this blacked out Tesla. At that time, I didn't know it was him. It had uh, Kentucky tags. <laughs> yeah. And the only reason I remember that is they're blacked out like Texas and you yeah. know Iowa and a bunch of other states have them. I think Delaware. They okay. got the blacked out tags. And I always thought that was pretty cool because I didn't know that Kentucky had them. But anyways, well, this guy was cruising as fast as I was. So I was going 55, and he was also going 55. Yeah. Oh, uh, 80. 80. <laughs> he was going 80? In a 55. Oh, yeah. Tell him. Yeah. Tell him. <laughs> I mean, he was going 80, 82, and I was going about 80, 82. I was just cruising with him. He was in front of me. I had, like, probably three car lengths in front. Just flowing with traffic. There was a few other cars with us. Yeah. Doesn't make it right, but we're cruising all together. Yeah. Trying to make time. You just well, all getting it. Once he turned on 81, he started getting dumb. I don't know if he brought out his phone or something. Something yeah. started distracting him where he was dropping from 88 down to like about 60. Yeah. Just 57. Like, and then he would speed way up. And, well, you know, when he's slowing down, he's not using his brakes. He's just letting off the gas. So I would get, I'd lose my distance because I got cruise control set. Mm-hmm. About 85. Yeah. So he would pull away from me and then I, he would like slowly get back closer and then he would like all of a sudden stop in front of me. Like not literally, but yeah. just like stop, like going drop 80. 20 miles an hour yeah. in a second. Yeah. And well, that kind of pissed me off. And I, <laughs> I'm in a work truck that weighs a good amount of weight. I can't go around him and pass yeah. him. He's in the left lane, He's which for Tesla. all those people out there, the left lane is the passing lane. If you see a faster car coming up behind you, you need to do your duty and get out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way because the freight train's coming. The freight train is coming. Yes, sir. <laughs> and it is actually a state law. Yeah. In most states. He would know, I don't know that about if all of he them. was a good... Maybe not in Kentucky. Whatever he is. Right. Congressman? Congressman, yeah. I don't know. He's a pecker head. He's to a me. bitch. I yeah. don't like him. He looks like a fucking turtle, so Yeah. He looks like a Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna get killed after this. <laughs> It'll be all right. Not even after it comes out. They're listening right now. <laughs> hey, that's good. I wish he would. I wish <laughs> I wish he I, would. I wish my company would have gave me his number. Yeah. You should have. You should have got it. You should have like looked back through their call records and got yeah. it. <laughs> because you could I would probably want... call him, right? Like, yeah, you can call I'm sure I could send him a letter. Senator or whatever. Yeah, you yeah, could, you could send anybody a letter, right? Give this letter to this person; they got to do it, right? It's their job. It's federal law. It is federal law made by those people that we want to send right. letters to. Anyway, that right in the left lane. Well, anyway, so he would speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Yeah, I was trying to enjoy it, not really get too mad. Well, it's Friday. Keep it loose. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm on my way at home. I'm like about 30 minutes ahead of everybody else because of the speed limit was 55 and I was going <laughs> 55. Yeah, there you go. I mean, yes, making sir. great time. Oh, yeah. And uh, anyways, well, he decides to uh, slow down. And for all those people out there, 81 is terrible. You got the truckers and you got the locals, I call them. Yeah. That don't know how to drive. Yeah. I mean, the truckers, they don't see the hill coming up, but yeah. they get over on you. Yeah. And you're cruising yep. about 80, mm-hmm. and they just cut over. It's the hills, dude. And then they slow down about 50 yeah, <laughs> because they can't make it up the hills. And then everybody's passing them on the right, so right. they can't get back so over. So they can't get over. And, and then, then you're just trapped. Right. Yep. And it piles up for miles. Well, this guy lets an 18-wheeler over right oh, before a hill. He would. I mean, I for all those truckers out there, I understand you got a place to go, but if you see a hill coming, just stay in the right lane. Yeah. Just, just stay there. Hit the brake. Stay there. It's going to cost more time for an accident to happen. Yeah. And, you know, cars aren't as big as y'all. Yep. I hate to say it. Half of them could so, fit under them. Right. 
and get run over by them, and you know it's not worth killing anybody. Yeah. Also, so, yeah, and just don't slow us down. Right, and also we got places to go that we can travel way faster. And I know there's locals out there <laughs> that hog up your lane. I get it, but just wait after the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just just get out there and do us all a favor on hills. Just stay in the right lane. Just stay in the right lane, just please. Just pick the right, man. Just just right swipe that signal. You right. Know? Just stay where you're at. Hit cruise control off. I know, I know, but <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, <laughs> this guy lets an 18-wheeler in. Let's say 18-wheeler in. No big deal. Kind of a little bit pissed. My, my pissed off reader is almost to the beeping point, but yeah. I was able to slow it down. Keep it calm. Anyway, so this 18-wheeler gets over. Well, he's riding next to him. So long, like, at his tail bumper on his trailer that the 18-wheeler caught up to the next 18-wheeler. I mean, probably probably like a, a mile. Yeah. Like, at least five minutes riding next to him, going slow as hell. Yeah. <laughs> and Truck there's speed, trucks behind me that are riding my ass, blinking the lights, you know, getting road rage at me. And I'm like, because they, they can't, can't see. They can't see him. Right. Yeah. They just think I'm the idiot. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's fucked. Fuck this guy. And <laughs> I'm trying to push him. At this point, I'm up on his ass like, bro, let's like, go. Like, go. They're like, go. Well, he puts, the 18-wheeler puts his blinker on and almost cuts this guy out. Like, because he can't see him. He's yeah. in his blind spot cruising. Yeah. I'm like, get by him. Go. <laughs> well, he he gets scared and just takes off like a missile. I mean, he's gone. Like, <laughs> he I'm going it. 80 I'm no, probably ninety. I'm yeah. going ninety. I still can't catch him. Well, he finally does his slowing down bullshit, and then he finally, <laughs> I finally catch him after about five or six miles, and he goes over into the right lane and he lets me pass. Well, as I'm passing, I just throw up my hand like you were just doing ninety plus. Yeah, I what, wasn't what's catching going on? you. What's go- like, like what changed? What changed your opinion now to yeah. go like sixty? Yeah, like. Just hold, like, just, they make cruise just be control. Consistent. Right. Just do something. <laughs> like, it, I traveled 17 hours with cruise control. Yeah. And I made it there in 17 hours. Yep. This guy, if he traveled the way he traveled, a 17 hour road trip would take him probably 20 some hours. Oh, yeah. Just because of the day. inconsistency. Like, yeah. You, it, you gotta you can't have an old you can't have a little old turtle foot on the fucking gas right. man you gotta just let the computer let Elon take care of that shit right dude. oh yeah you, they they drive hands. themselves yeah they drive themselves so how about just letting that thing drive itself old Rand McNally or whatever the fuck his name was well Bush I didn't McConnell. I didn't flick him off I didn't nothing disrespectful nothing. I'm just kind of like well, just, what the fuck are you doing I'm bud? just like raising my hand because I mean this is I traveled probably hour and a half with this guy yeah. About an hour with him driving normal. In the last half hour, he starts acting dumb. He's like, took his fucking lewds or some right, shit. Right, like, I don't know if he re-upped or something. <laughs> he started sparking a J. Right, like, and he's starting to mellow out or something. Yeah. I don't know, but his foot slowly started. He, he the pressure had, on his he right hasn't foot. He had water in a while. Yeah. <laughs> his turtle flaps are getting dry. Yeah. Well... I end up getting a phone call saying that I'm driving reckless and that they need to talk to me. So uh, uh, on keep, a Friday, keep in mind you don't know you don't know who this is yet. Right <laughs> I, at this point, I don't even know who this is. So I'm like, when was I driving reckless? Like, yeah, do you have like heavy tent or could you see him? No, you could see him. Okay, I knew it was some old guy with glasses <laughs> from Kentucky. Oh I, God, that's all the information I knew. That's so great. Dude. I I because I looked right at, at him, made eye contact, yeah. and I was just like looked at him, threw the hand up, and then kept on driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, it's so funny. So then your your job called you. Yeah, and they're like, "Hey, we received a phone call about you. Uh, you're driving reckless. Uh, we're gonna have to talk to you, Money. This is a Friday. I've been away from home all week. Yeah, busting my ass. Yeah." Last thing I want to do is sit in fucking HR oh, yeah, no, and talk to this guy that talks like this. And he's like, you need to do a better job. <laughs> I know it's tough, but you got to do a better job. <laughs> like, fuck you. I don't want to listen to that. Yeah, <laughs> bullshit. It's Friday. Let me yeah, go. Like, it's Friday. I'm horny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm one of the good guys. And I'm I trying don't to want to fuck you. Right. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just a squirrel looking for a nut. That's all right. right. I'm one of the good guys. <laughs> I haven't That's had a nut shit. all week, and this <laughs> senator wants to make me sit in the office for 30 Fucking extra minutes. right, man. Oh, best believe I was clocked in. <laughs> oh, yeah. You getting paid for that yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck yeah. If I wasn't getting paid, I wouldn't be there. <laughs> well, I think you came over that weekend, and you told me about it. And then I was like, do you remember who it was? And you showed me a picture of him. And I was like, oh, my God. It was fucking Mitch McConnell. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, no fucking way, dude. Like, what I would give to be in that situation where I was just road raging with Mitch McConnell. Because you know what? Honestly, our I phone would... number is not on the side of our truck. Just the company name. Right. So, like, if I go fast enough, I can get away. There he is. Holy shit. That's <laughs> not a human being. No. What fucking kind of smile is that? Who smiles with just their bottom teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I can't even tell if that's his, the bottom or... He forgot to put his dentures in for the top. Who <laughs> who fucking renamed Benjamin fucking Franklin, dude? Kentucky, you got to do a little bit better. I mean, oh, that's your senator that, can't even afford the top dentures. Is he a senator? Or oh, congressman or click whatever. Click on the Wikipedia. Let's find out. Well, that's a screenshot. Cl- you can click on the little link thing. No, it's a screenshot. Oh, oh, it's all right. <laughs> I I heard you speak, but I didn't hear what you said. Oh, he came up as second. Oh, there he is. Is a congressman? Oh, here's dude. He looks worse without glasses. Really? Yeah. More turtleish. Oh, guys, I don't know what oh, to do. Oh, geez, guys, I'm the next turkey for the presidential pardon. Oh, look at my gobble gels. Oh, Good guys. lord, dude! <laughs> Fuck out of here. This is like, guys, I don't really feel comfortable. Dude, this. look at that fucking look at his hair, man. Fuck it out of here. This is just gonna turn into a Mitch McConnell. You know, list. when you're let me see him. Let me see him. When your ears are sagging more than your wife's titties. I want to see this one. I see <laughs> this. I see that that is the most cartoon fucking front. Look at this. Look at this picture. Look at that. You Whoa. can't. You can't honestly look at that picture and tell. That's me when that. he looked at his dick. He was just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's him trying to dial your work's phone number while he's going fucking ninety plus down the interstate. <laughs> I'm going to catch this blue-collar worker, and I'm going to get him fired. <laughs> I'm going to send him to the coal mines of Kentucky. <laughs> That's right. I've done him good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. He's so ugly. Uh, I, don't think I've, I, I don't think I've ever seen a politician uglier than that. Like, that ta- that takes the cake. Fuck. I don't even know what that face looks do like. We understand, do we figure out what he is yet? The Senate. It says I saw something that said the Senate. Let me look. Uh... Just ask what his job is, because clearly it's not, like, following the law. Senate. He's a senator. (sighs) Fuck. I was really hoping he was in, like, I don't know, something low, like the governor. (laughs) Right. I don't know. I don't know the governor's beat his ass. If I knew it was him driving down the road, well, no, I can't say that. That's illegal. No, it's, listen, man, at that point, you're not expected to know. He's probably sitting there like, doesn't this punk kid know who I am? I'm a fucking senator. Like he needs to respect me. I like know. he's probably sitting. You're sitting there going, "What the fuck are you doing, you old fart?" The like, only get the reason fuck out of the road. The only reason I'm mad at you, it has nothing to do with you as a person. I don't it has give a fuck what everything your job to do is. with right. I don't care what your title is in this world. You put your pants on the same way I do, right? And fuck you because you can't drive. You'd be the and goddamn that's it. president, and I'd still be like, "Get the yeah. fuck out of the left lane." <laughs> You know, I'm it just, could be I'm the just, fucking presidential limousine. Yeah, honking at the motorcade. if they're not going fucking 80 plus in the right lane, or in the left lane. Yeah, get out. Get the fuck out of there. I don't care who you are. Get the fuck out of the right lane. I got somewhere to lane. be. You're right. Like, it's Friday and I got beer to drink. You better get the fuck out of my way. This, <laughs> the whole interstate system was set up after the Nazis. <laughs> interstate state system. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. What are you talking about The now? Autobahn. The Autobahn? Right. Is that... The, and if the you Nazis, watch uh, Interstate, yeah, they made it to travel their troops across. Did they really? Yeah. And so we, the Autobahn, yeah. the Autobahn, like is, Hitler made that shit. He made that for. Well, I don't know if it was Hitler, but he agreed to it. You know what I mean? Holy shit! I never knew that. Yeah, in our and Interstate still, like, system, there and shit. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so and fucking crazy. They get crazy over there. Oh, and dude, they'll no run them limit, down, right? Yeah, there's no speed limit, and if you have a fast car. You don't have to break. Like you just go. You just go, and people get out of your way. Yeah, because if they know, 
if, if they the get into lane. an accident because someone hits them in the rear, it's on them. Yeah. So they check their mirrors. That's fucking crazy. That would be yeah. so scary to drive on, dude. Yeah. That'd be terrifying if you weren't well, going fast. I think it's called the gumball or maybe it's, yeah, it's gumball rally where they go across like all different types of states or Holy countries shit. and exotic cars. And anyways, I was watching this, maybe it was 13, what? 20 video shout out by the way i got oh, one of your t-shirts hell yeah 13 20 video shout I mean, out that's not where i get my driving lessons from but <laughs> fuck it fuck it when i great see content, it though. Right. absolutely it's good content great pass uh what was it pass by do you do you watch uh whistling diesel yeah, yeah okay good yeah I'll make sure yeah Dude, i like Diesel's him great. to a certain point until he said that his old lady's got a, a uh fans only only fans. Oh, fans. Yeah. <laughs> fans only. What do you mean? That you don't like them now? Well, it's kind of like, bro, you got your fucking wife's titties out there. He's making money off that shit. I know he is, but it's like, come on, man. Like, there's a... I love money like anybody else, but come on. I'm not going to have Claudia's titties out there for everybody to look at. Yeah. Even mean, though we make mad money off of them. <laughs> I feel like, I don't I know. Mean, I would shit. just be like, yeah, I don't know. Do whatever you want. But if you fuck somebody I mean, yeah. else, it's over, <laughs> you know? Right. I mean, if you're if you're making enough money off it, my god, <laughs> which I can imagine is it's his wife. Yeah. Is she an attractive woman? She's he's he's like pretty attractive. The, I mean, so like I can imagine she's probably pretty attractive, right? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Fred just showed me the video he was talking about um holy shit, dude. <laughs> That's pretty fucking crazy. I, I don't mean, think I've ever seen anybody actually drive on the Autobahn. Imagine if someone was coming up behind you at 209 miles an hour. Fuck, dude. They got no time to break. Oh, no, dude. You, you. That's the moment you just sit still and just hope everything gets past you okay. Right. Like, holy shit. That bitch in the minivan best get the fuck in the right lane. That's all I got to say. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. If Like, even if somebody wasn't like paying attention, they were just in the left lane. You'd kill him at that speed. Right. Oh, it would kill you, kill them, kill everybody. Like, if were, you drive slow, slower than that. Yeah. I mean. Which most people probably do. Right. You just cruise and it just act like it's just a one lane road. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you don't let pass. these exotic cars. Shoom, shoom. You wouldn't even see it coming, dude. Right. They were, you don't have time enough to react. So you just act like it's a one lane road. And that's why people in the right lane. Unless your car physically can't go fast, you yeah. should at least be going the speed limit, I feel. Yeah. Yeah. If or you can't go at least 70, the speed limit, don't be on the interstate. You can go 70 miles an hour. Yeah. That's pretty fucking far. If you can't, take a different road. Take a back road. Right. Like, don't make it our problem. You right. Because half the, you know, I, I'll raise... Don't road. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, just like <laughs> going down to the beach when we had our GPS set to fucking no tolls. Oh well. That was the longest trip I ever took to get to Albuquerque. We I just I, I was sitting there wondering and it wasn't until we got down there actually that I was like, "Why? Why? Why are we on just like back roads this whole time? Like this doesn't seem like the fastest way to get to the beach." But mm. then I f we figured out what was going on, and we were like, oh, shit. Well, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we were and wondering then, why our buddy, our old pal. Yeah. He was, like, calling us, and he was like, you missed your turn. You missed your turn. And we were like, what? No, we didn't. <laughs> we had completely turn. separate directions. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then we almost got in a car accident, but we didn't. Yeah, the two cars that were going down there almost collided. <laughs> yeah. The fucking, we we minimalized the split into two cars, and then we almost crashed them into each other. <laughs> but we won't talk about that. <laughs> was getting away with murder was what that was. Yeah. yeah. One for the books. Yeah. I for mean, sure. Uh, I'm uh, pretty sure I was drinking the whole trip down there. I think you were. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I was in the third it was, row. It was in, it was in vacation mode yeah. at that point. No, I wasn't in the third row. I was in the back seat right behind your lovely girlfriend. Yeah, you were in the middle row. 
Yeah, no, I was actually on the middle. Yeah. Like, the middle, middle. Yeah, you were riding home. Ty, yeah, I was riding fucking on the trans. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You were riding the trans. Yep. <laughs> you just shamelessly said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Ride the trans like a pony. That was the b- most comfortable seat ever. <laughs> yeah. That was a that was a nice van. I mean, honestly, leather it. seats. Yeah, it's a good way to good way to make the trip. Pimping that Odyssey, or does it does it does that does that have a hump in the middle? Actually, it felt pretty straight. <laughs> <laughs> it felt pretty uh, straight. Yeah, <laughs> flat. <laughs> <laughs> no hump. No trans. No trans. <laughs> <laughs> no no bump. <laughs> no bump. No. <laughs> so would you would you say there was no bulge in the seat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> yeah, Working me too. Working up a good buzz. Yeah. These these water bottles are pretty fucking strong, bud. Oh yeah. A buzz oh, it's on foaming hydration. up. Yep. Up, good. <laughs> Silence, wench. <laughs> no foam allowed. I do not wish to be foamy anymore. <laughs> Especially with no bulge in the seat. No bulge in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bang out some shit, Carter. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> is, is this your podcast? <laughs> so, Carter, uh, am I the guest? <laughs> I like this. I'll flip the computer around for you. All right. Can we, can we get the controls over here. Yeah. And everything. <laughs> Just stops recording. <laughs> Tonight on the Whipple Whipples podcast. The Whipple Whipples, Whipple the Nipples pod. The whiny whip. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember when you first got this lovely apartment? Yeah. It's a nice little place. Yeah. First rage. First rage. And we're all buzzing pretty pretty good on the water we were, bottles. We, yeah, we were all hydrated as shit. Yeah. I mean, super hydrated. I'm oh, talking yeah. about... Two liter jugs, it's like falling on the floor, hydrated. Like, like leave your phone in the front yard, like hydrated. Freckle face kid falling down the stairs. Oh yeah, <laughs> type hydrated. That little guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying <Dana. laughs> That little buddy. Love you, bud. <laughs> Anyways, we're all buzzing, playing beer pong, and then I was like, "Man, I'm hungry," and everybody's like, "Man, we're hungry." Yeah. You're like, oh, I just got frozen pizza. Yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo chicken yeah, pizza. I remember. Banger. Uh, and tater tots. <laughs> yeah. Two separate items. I did not pick them up <laughs> thinking at all that they would be cooked together. <laughs> well, somehow they mixed all together. Oh, well, I'll tell you how. I saw oh, yeah. the pizza and then I saw the tots and yeah. I was like, I have to, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we made some more last night. Yeah, you guys had left before then, but I think I'd put them in as you guys were all leaving. But well, were we here last night? Not last night. I'm sorry, Saturday oh. night. Oh, gotcha. No, not last night. We left early. Not early. It was like twelve. <laughs> it was oh, like midnight. Oh. I was just putting food in late. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, Excuse that's me. probably the best invention of food. That's so fucking since crazy. Taco Bell. That's that's true. Because it is really good, and that's crazy that you say that because, like, the first party, one of the first parties we had here was that, and then the last party we had here before you were, like, moving away. Yeah. We had tater top pizza again. I wish you could have stayed I and know. had some, but I did technically make it. <laughs> Shoot, the effort we could, was there. We could go to. I might still have tater tots, or I might have used them all. I'm not sure. But I know I have frozen pizza. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh yeah, yeah. That was a that was a fresh batch. Ooh, should, I t- should I talk about that? <laughs> Let's go into it. How, how I almost fucking burnt the house down. <laughs> so casual. I think it was a uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it was a Wednesday night. It was a Wednesday night. Um, your boy got a little too hammed, a little too hydrated, Wait, was that- and I had the bright idea. Well, Jordan's gonna be home soon, and. I might as I'm gonna make tots. I'm gonna make some tots, and I'm gonna wait for him to get home and offer him some tots when he gets home, because I know he'll be like drinking and stuff. So like, 
when he gets home, like he's he'll always have some, into it. Yeah, <laughs> he you know he works night shifts, twelve hours, uh, overnight night shifts, twelve hours, forklift certified, and so I know he's up late at night and shit. So I was like, yeah, we'll just hang out for a little bit and then I'll go to bed. So I put the tater tots in the oven and I wake up in my bed at 5 (laughs) a.m. And I I, I get texts from Jordan at 3 a.m. going, hey, man, what the fuck is going on? The whole house is full of smoke like the (laughs) oven. You left your tater. And I'm like. (laughs) <laughs> trying to figure out how the fuck I got in my bed because I last thing I remembered I was watching TV. <laughs> I was like, I'm just waiting for these tots, man. And then I woke up in my bed and then the fucking house almost burnt down. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I, I, I woke up hella late for work, like two hours late for work on Thursday. <laughs> like big time blew it. And I was just like, fuck this. I'm going. I ran out the door, went to work, came back the next day and I realized... He didn't take him out of the oven. Like, he turned the oven off, obviously, but he didn't take him out, which is fair. Why would you? <laughs> That's fucking, that scorching. Is scorching. My huh? fucking problem to deal with. But so I went in and I picked him up and I looked at him and I held it up to me like vertical almost. And they just stuck. <laughs> they were all just stuck to the fucking <laughs> pan. Uh, I'm going to have to throw that fucking pan away, too, because like. Is this still in there? It's sitting on top of the sink. You could, it's like fucking black now. Like it's, it's, it's nasty. No, I don't think so. Unless, unless we took the batteries out of it, which we might have. Um, but you know what we did because like every night for a week, Jordan was cooking in here and he set the fucking fire alarm off with the steam (laughs) from whatever he was cooking. And I was like, take the fucking batteries out of it. So yeah, no, we would have burnt. Yeah. Yeah. No, the house. But you know down. what? You know what? I was so fucked up. You know how I am when I'm fucked up. I'm like, a, I'm asleep like a rock. Yeah, me like, too. That would not have woken me up. Yeah. You know, if Jordan hadn't come home, we might have burnt. I, I might have burnt the house down. Might have been dead, bud. Yeah, might have been dead. And when I woke up at nine a.m., I kind of wish I had. <laughs> Man, I was like, "Holy shit!" I wish that this house had just burnt down. Jordan hadn't come home, and the whole thing was ablaze. Obviously, hope all my neighbors got out okay. But that's the one thing about a townhouse, man. You're just trapped. Yeah. You got the. You're taking out your neighbors, you not burn just one you. Down, you burn them all. <laughs> I just throw a molotov it's across like a train. the street. I'm like, I'm getting you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's arsony, and I don't, I don't support yeah, that. No, Jordan does. Not. Oh yeah, Jordan's a little arsonist. Oh, you know is that? he? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this in so he hears it. A little cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in too. Jordan, just so you know, Fred said that in a Hooters hat. All right, so I got a story to tell you about the same Wednesday and the same Thursday that you're just talking about. Okay, and it all comes back to so these guys. I I went in the shower and I brought some beers with me. I about had three beers, and that's a good. Number. Anyways, yeah, good number of beers. Yeah, it was four thirties when I got off work, and it was about, or no, it was like four, and then four thirties about what time I got out of the shower. So it was about a beer every ten. Yeah, and uh, one for ten, bud. Yeah, definitely an alcoholic, <laughs> according to <laughs> Wikipedia or whatever it was. <laughs> Whatever yeah. alcohol hating <laughs> fucking website right. that posted that. I'm probably a level one alcoholic. <laughs> Dude, you're not even level two yet? You no, I'm probably get well, those numbers up. One's probably the highest. Oh really? I, I would say like start at the bottom, now you're here. Probably. Yeah. I, know what that's I would like. say Drake. <laughs> so uh Anyway, so I was like pretty buzzed by the time I got out of the shower. Well, these two jokers show up and my buddies, yeah, oh B and C, we'll call them, yeah, and oh Brandon Colton. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon got an iPad, and I was like, well, "Shit, I'm about to leave. I kind of want an iPad." So we went Wait, with the what? Best Buy, an iPad, yeah, yeah, an iPad. And he was setting it up in the truck, and I was like, "I want an iPad. Where'd you get that from?" He's like, "Oh man, they're on sale. What? You get you one." And I was like, "All right, bet." Let's you just go went get and got one. an iPad. It gets better. I grab roadies, and we were driving in the work truck, 
three beer cans opened up. <laughs> all three of us were driving, or uh, all three of us were drinking. Oh my god! One of us was driving. Not gonna say who. Not ever gonna say who. And we're just cruising to Walmart and Best Buy to grab iPads. You're gonna go to get <laughs> iPads? You're what? You're fucking drunk in DC, and you're just like, I want to go get iPads on this Wednesday night. So it all started with Brandon, and then end up I got an iPad, and then Colton ended up getting an iPad. Holy shit! So we're at this. You're just all iPad. We went to Walmart, up. and they said they didn't have any more of the night gen nothing crazy it wasn't the pro ones but it was i mean it's decent it's an ipad right and anyways we went i need to talk to you about this afterwards because i want an ipad yeah is this how it, is this how it starts yeah oh fuck <laughs> yeah you want to go to best buy right now we i'm could. about three beers in <laughs> you want to go best buy right now and buy an ipad hey they're on sale i need to get it now then they're about i spent 285 i think on a brand new ipad that's not bad. No, that's not and the bad whole at all. reason. So we went to Best. We went to Walmart. They didn't have them. Went to Best Buy, and they had them. And well, Brandon was like, "Well, they were very cheaper at at Walmart, but they didn't have them. So we might as well wait for Walmart to restock, and then we'll get them then." Yeah. And they were like, "Oh no, 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 we got price checked just like them." So they price checked ours. Late. Little did they know that. Brandon's was a eighth gen, and the ones we were buying were a ninth gen, and that's why they were more expensive. So we got ours at like a thirty dollar discount, sixty dollar <laughs> total. <laughs> with I had four beers at that time, they had like one. Which <laughs> fuck, dude, you just fucked up going buy an iPad. Yeah. And we, all three of us got an iPad, and my boy. I'm not going to say which one because, anyways, one of them, the, the girl that was at the, at the register, she was, it was her first time and her first day first or whatever. First time. <laughs> first day and. Took her in the back. <laughs> anyways, they wanted to get her Snapchat and they're talking on and on about her. And I was like, she's all right, guys. Like, calm down. Like, like let's just get these iPads. Right, like, I'm more excited about the iPad yeah, than the chick. Let's get these iPads. Go out of here, chick. man. I look my... how big the screen right. is. <laughs> like, porn on that motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, facts. And I was like, yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> let's Why get do you our need iPads. a Snapchat when porn's free? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like virtual type thing. You don't even have to get your goggles. <laughs> you just hold it up you to your just face. Hold it's it, like a fucking portable Hold TV. it like you would your phone and it's like you're there. <laughs> so you're just, you're, you just have an iPad now. Yeah. You didn't tell me this. I'm telling you now. I know. This is big news. Yeah. No, it it's... <laughs> <laughs> so we all went to the hotel but the, the fact oh he got you, you can get an engagement ring and turn around and just be like i want a fucking ipad and just go buy an ipad that's pretty fucking baller and i'm com- <laughs> you talking to her the whole time you're like should i do it <laughs> no no i wasn't like that i was just like hey babe and she was like what you doing because she just got <laughs> off at work at that time i'm four beers in I'm buying an ipad, an iPad. <laughs> She's like, hey, baby, what you doing? Expecting me to be, like, miserable. And, Nothing. And, like, oh, I'm just beating off in the hotel. <laughs> beating off in the hotel. She's like, oh, you're you're hammered and buying an iPad? When did this ever happen? <laughs> when were you going to tell me if you when didn't call? did you call? get cool? <laughs> right. Like, oh, no, you wait till your last day to go out and do shit? <laughs> Dude, that's, a, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And then... It went from that to we got our iPads. Uh, one of the guys they got turned down. She was like, "Sorry, I have a boyfriend," and then gave it to the other guy. <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> but she she apologized for having a boyfriend. Shout out to that Best Buy uh, associate. Don't be sorry that you have a boyfriend. Yeah, Just, I'm sorry for her boyfriend. Right, that's bullshit. Like, yeah, that don't means tell the, I would, but right. She went to Mason, so I mean, she should. She shouldn't be sorry. What? Like, oh, she went to George Mason. Yeah, George Mason. Whoo! Sheesh. They were talking to her. 
Fred's just being the iPad kid over here. I just, just wanted my iPad. Twiddling his she, toes. Well, she talked Colton into, uh, not her directly, but the other guy, talked us both into a credit card. Well, I fu- I was hammered, and I, I kept on forgetting my social. So there, I just looked at him, and I was like, it, it's not going to work. Uh, just I'll just pay full price. And they were like, well, actually, we'll just use Colton's car. So I had... <laughs> <laughs> so Colton's credit card got ran up. Dude, that's fucking hilarious. And I didn't have to pay shit, but I ended up Venmoing Colton. Well, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I was going to pay him. Take a free fucking no, iPad. fuck no. Holy shit, that's but funny, I, though. I was now he's got to, a credit card? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's got a credit card. He went there thinking that he wasn't going to get an iPad, and it was just me and Brandon going to be the idiots that bought yeah. an iPad to... He, now he's got a credit card, two thousand dollar limit, and I end up using $2. his credit card to buy my iPad. Holy shit! And then I Venmoed him the money for the iPad. But <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. And then it gets even better. And then we went to the hotel and we finished out my twelve pack. Yeah. And which didn't take that long. What were you drinking? I was drinking. Uh, well, I had banquets first. Oh, hell yeah. I had like four banquets That'll left. That'll be in, but And I had three in the shower, and then I gave Colton one of the banquets, and the rest, I, I got the Miller Lights. Fuck yeah. And then I had a 12-pack of Miller Lights. So, anyways, we went to, uh, we were pretty hungry after we, they t- end up taking a shower, and I went and bullshitted and played cornhole waiting for them to get done. So cornhole. the guy, the other guys, the older guys, they had, um, they bring cornhole boards out there. Oh hell! So yeah. we set it up in the parking lot, and get lit, and just talk shit and everything. Fuck yeah! Well, me and this one guy, uh, we're, we're not the best cornhole players, but the other guys they were pretty good. So yeah. we're matching up pretty even. Like I get one in, he would get one in, and then all the rest would be like air air balls, air bags, <laughs> air bags, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and. Which was pretty cool. Well, they finally got done with the shower, and they're like, let's go to Hooters. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. Yeah. Well, then we went to this one Hooters, and so at this time, she's been calling me, and somehow my phone went on airplane mode, and she's been calling me the entire time, day before we got engaged, by the way. <laughs> she was calling and calling me, and I was like, I had no idea, because my phone was on airplane mode. Don't know how. Yeah. I mean, it might have happened when I pulled it off and I put it on low battery mode. Yeah. Because every time I pull it off the charger, I just go ahead. Even if it's got like 99%, yeah. just go ahead and put it on there. Just to be safe. Right. It's like, it holds the battery, so why not? Yeah. So, I don't know. But anyways, it's on airplane mode. She's getting pissed off. Have no idea. And I'm at Hooters. And she's like, what the fuck's this guy doing? <laughs> Holy shit. And anyways, like obviously nothing bad's happening, but yeah, I mean I'm not answering the calls. Yeah, no, that, I can see the I, I can see the signs. Yeah, I can see the uh, room for error there. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely sirens going off, and I was clueless just at Hooters. Yeah, <laughs> and just we went join the whirlwind. Right. Well, we went there. Guys were like, "Fuck this!" The one in Chantilly is way better. So we end up. We ordered our drinks, but we didn't even get them. We just dipped. Just left? We just left. We just up and left. We're like, fuck this. We're going to go to the other Hooters. <laughs> Dang, so you just switched Hooters midnight? Yeah. Holy shit. They, we all went there, sat down, and the waiter asked me, she's like, what do you want to drink? I was like, of course, like tall. Yeah. I, I mean, fuck. You should know this. <laughs> yeah. You should know this by now. <laughs> right. I mean, that's all I drink. And this was like our second night being there or something like that this week and there were and she was like can i see your idea and then everybody else looked oh fuck oh country was there old country who so it was brandon colton country and i and we're over there and uh anyways they were like oh fuck so they all ordered sweet teas yeah because they can't drink right and anyway she was like oh y'all just want sweet teas like, yeah, we're underage. <laughs> Bang. Yeah. L. Got called out. <laughs> yeah. She saw the, yeah, they saw you get yeah. ID'd, and they're like, well. If he's getting ID, then we're all getting ID. <laughs> yeah, best let him go first then right. now. And anyway, so we, I probably had like three, 
yeah, three beers there. And then my check ended up being $90. Including Holy the, shit. I got a t-shirt. I ended up getting merch. It was my last night. Hell yeah. Got all the waiters to sign it. Fuck yeah, Yeah. Dude. And then I got a ball cap. I was going to get a koozie, but all the koozies, they were lame. I wanted a koozie with the the Hooter titties on there. Oh, yeah. One of those Hell old school yeah. looking ones. They probably don't and sell they, those anymore. Well, they do, but they were all out of them. Oh, really? Yeah. She's Damn. like, She's like, you wanted the Hoot Hoot uh, <laughs> she koozies. Knows. And I was like, hell yeah, something to play with while I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and dude. she was like, oh, all right. And <laughs> anyway, so we went back to the hotel. So country was thirsty, and uh, we ended up getting a 24-pack. Oh, shit. Yeah, at old 7-Eleven. What did you, uh, so you went to 7-Eleven, you got a 24-pack Michelobes. You got Mich- Michelobes? Yeah, old Michelobes, because they like old Michelobes. I don't... They're all right. I just it's, over it's drank beer, them. man, you know? It's... it's. I feel like at some point, all light beer is just like beer. Is 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 Michelob even light beer? It's low carb. So kind of. Kind of, yeah. I mean... It's ultra beer. Right. It's that ultra... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys picked up a you guys picked up a case. Yeah. And we went back to the hotel. At this time the cornhole was all picked up and uh well there was a few guys still out there drinking, so we end up rolling up. We just parked the truck. Right so to get you a picture, um, the hotel there's a back corner where the dumpsters are. Yeah. And there's a fire lane. Okay. Well, you're not supposed to park there, but we had four service trucks parked right there in the corner. The okay. cold sack. Well, it wasn't even a cold sack. It was just the end of the road. Yeah. It was like a maintenance parking only or whatever. Yeah. We had four trucks. So we had two trucks on running parallel with the building. Yeah. And then we had two trucks across the ro- like the parking lot backed into the back lot. Yeah. Or back lot spots or whatever you call it. And... We just pulled up the truck parallel to the building, so right in front of the two trucks that are running in that yeah across the road. So we just rolled up, hopped out, grabbed our case, and started cracking them open. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we finished that case. Um, Dang, my boy Brady, he uh, he brought out a bottle of Jefferson whiskey. Oh shit! It was filled. We finished that. Oh my I god! I got the bottle. Holy fuck, dude! Um. <laughs> Now, mind you, it was just four of us cranking out those beers out of that 24-pack, and it was just three of us hammering out that bottle of whiskey. My God. <laughs> that's and, still, that's a lot. Yeah, and we still had some leftover beers of the Miller High Lives, or no, Miller Lights. Gotcha. So we were we hammered out all the alcohol before we went to bed. We started at, I started at 430 well, four ish, and I didn't end it till one, one thirty. Holy fuck! I remember she was calling me and calling me and calling me, and I had no idea. Well, when I went to set my phone, I, I, we end up calling a night. Everybody else went inside, and we we're out there. We wanted to finish the twenty four pack, so we end up doing shotguns for the rest of them. So oh boy. I shotgunned like two in a row. Jesus! And I was. I was feeling it. <laughs> pretty fucking hydrated. Pretty hydrated, <laughs> yeah. bud. <laughs> and uh anyways, made it to the hotel room safe. I was still didn't black out. I was feeling it, but I wasn't really feeling it that bad, honestly. Yeah. And um put my phone on the charger and then some as soon as I put the phone on the charger and I realized, oh fuck, it's on airplane mode. Like, I can't turn yeah. on Netflix, because I was about to watch a show and go to bed. Yeah. Had no idea it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You just had been paying attention. I was attention. just like, fuck it, I'm going to watch some uh, some old uh, Netflix and then go to bed. Yeah. And uh, anyways, when I laid my head down, I fell asleep. I don't remember. Well, I don't even remember laying my head down. I remember going to the shower, rinsing off my face, and then taking off my clothes Going over to my bed, and then I was out until I yeah. woke up. 
Just gone. <laughs> yeah. And I was supposed to be at the job site at five. And the job site's like, I would say probably 45 minutes away. Yeah. Half hour away. Yeah. Well, I got woke. I, I got a phone call at about six. Okay. I was still in bed. And yeah. now it was like 530. And it was Claudia. And she was like, you didn't see my phone calls? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, she was like, "You okay?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Like I was like, "Man, this is kind of early for you to call me." And then I looked at my phone. I'm like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, I gotta go. Click. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I finally gathered up on my stuff because I was leaving that night. I had to pack up my bag, pack yeah. up my charger, you know, grab the leftover beer, which there was like three left. <laughs> yeah, roadies. <laughs> yeah, and I threw it in the truck, and I sat in the truck. And I started it, and I was like, my head's pretty dizzy. I shouldn't be driving. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I was like, I, I'm i fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be driving. So I sat there, and I went out to the back, and I grabbed the cooler. I grabbed two waters, a Gatorade, and a sweet tea, and I chugged the two waters, pissed, <laughs> grabbed the Gatorade, got the Gatorade in me, got the tea in me. And I started being able to... C straight. Yeah. And I was like, all right, I think I'm all right to drive now. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> definitely probably would have blew hot, pretty high, but. Yeah. Definitely. I, w- I knew self-consciously, I knew I shouldn't have drove when I hopped in and turned the ignition on. Yeah. But I waited and made sure I was. That's good. At least somewhat stable. That's good shit, man. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. And. Got to the job site. Well, the two other guys that I was drinking with, they were they didn't wake up till like nine. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and I was only like hourly. Yeah, you're like you guys are making but me look real good. <laughs> luckily, it was raining, and I didn't have to go all the way into Maryland. I was by Dulles Airport. That's where our hotel is. Yeah. And, um. Oh. Uh. Anyways, my my guy that was working with, he called me. And he was like, because I told him ahead of time, I was like, this is my last night. I, I don't know if I'm going to show up. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be there. <laughs> right. Like, just go ahead and plan that I'm not going to be there. And I think it'd be better. And it's probably smart. I was like, I don't give a fuck either. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, he night. didn't care either. He was like, I understand. He expects it. Yeah. And I was like, all right. So you want me at this other job site? Well, this other job site's four minutes away from the hotel. Yeah. Right up the road. I was like, word, this could have played out even better if I would have planned it, you yeah. know? So I got to the job site, still hungover, still fucked up. I mean, fucked up. Yeah. I put it in park, turned the truck off, and I fell asleep. Yeah. Until about seven. <laughs> Holy shit. I clocked in and everything. And I yeah, you're asleep. just sitting there napping. Yeah. Well, anyways, this Thursday morning, woke up, and when I left the a hotel. I was looking for the boys' truck because they rode in a different truck, and I was making sure they were all right. Yeah, I didn't see their truck when I was cruising out. I mean, I was looking, but I wasn't. I was pretty tore up. I was just making sure I <laughs> kept it between the lanes. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't see their truck. And my foreman, he like our road crew supervisor called me, and he was like, "Hey, have you talked to the boys yet today?" And I was like, "No." Uh, all right. Uh, let me give him a call. Gave him a call. Didn't pick up. Oh damn. Then he gave me another call back, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't see their truck at the hotel." I was like, "Well, I don't remember seeing it either." It's like, "Well, hopefully they're not in jail." I was like, "Oh fuck, I just got these kids in mad trouble." Like, yeah. Holy shit. Well, I called them and called them and called them, text them, and anyways, they finally called me back as I was taking over their job site, thinking that they were in jail somewhere. <laughs> Holy and they're shit, like, dude. oh no, we just overslept. Where was their truck? And I was like, well, where'd you guys park? And we're like, right there in the parking lot. And I was like, bullshit, I didn't see it. Phil Foreman didn't see it. And uh, he was like, no, it was right there. And I was like, bullshit. Like, yeah. you're full of shit. And he was like, oh yeah, we uh we parked up on the curb or something. <laughs> oh something, shit. Something where they... They parked somewhere else because there wasn't any parking. And I, I thought you were going to say they parked in the fire lane and got towed. Oh, no. No, but 
Yeah. Well, That's a wild fucking story, man. Same day I showed up late is the same day the president of the company said I always have a job there at their company. <laughs> Shook funny. my hand, and That's I did that funny. exit interview that same day, hung That's over, funny. and I got engaged on that same Thursday. What a good Thursday, man. Yeah. What a wild ride. Yeah. Well, damn, dude. Speaking of wild rides, this has been one. Yeah. We promised it would be. I'm pretty fucking hungry. I'm pretty fucking <laughs> Oh, we got a listener to the to the pod, I hear. <laughs> Shout out, uh, sorry to inconvenience you. Go listen if you haven't already. Absolutely. My favorite fucking podcast to listen to while I'm going down the road flicking off S- state senators. Fucking and- right. <laughs> <laughs> a juice that keeps you going. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, I think we're going to wrap this one up for today. It was excellent having you on as a guest. I hope I have more guests on like you in the future because those (laughs) stories are fucking insane. (laughs) And I can't wait to listen back to this. But fuck yeah, I appreciate you having me out here and You'll be back on about four months. Yeah, about four months. And I'll have even more crazy stories. We'll have the first uh Fred Whipple two point oh. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, hopefully you can get something out of this. Oh yeah, I I can. Oh yeah. (laughs) Oh I can oh I can make this work. Yeah, (laughs) for sure. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, You'll hear from us soon next week.